Hi guys, Rory here from Your Golf Travel. I'm up at Close House uh, in Newcastle this week for the British Masters on the European Tour. Uh, I think the British Masters has become one of these standout events of the calendar. Some of my colleagues are up here as well this week. Uh, we've got a standard 18th tee and we are giving away free holidays every single day from today, Wednesday, the Pro-Am day through Sunday. And some of you will know this course quite well. Um, I filmed here with this week's host, Lee Westwood and Mark Crosswood and Coach Lockie. Uh, I don't really want to go into too much detail about the result. Right, right, this for the win. You had a shorter one on the last. Yeah, he did it. Oh, look, they're teaming. Oh. What a lovely shot that is, Ray. I've zoomed in, Ray. That's a love. You'll put that on your wall. No, that's low. No, it's not. Oh. Where was that staying there? Great putt. Is it low? Put it again, see if it stays that line. Well, I'm Ray. Luckily, I also managed to snag a media pass this week, uh, which gives me pretty good access to lots of really cool stuff, including the interview room, media center, get a bit closer to the players than you normally can as just a regular fan. So, I'm gonna try and give you guys a kind of behind the scenes kind of look at this week's event. Uh, we're gonna talk about the field, some of the really fun things that are going on here at Close House at the British Masters this week. So I mentioned the field at this week's event uh, and it's got to be one of the strongest fields on the European Tour this season and it has been for the last couple of years now since the British Masters came back to the fore. We've obviously got Lee Westwood hosting the event this week. We've got Rory McIlroy, we've got Miguel Angle Jimenez I saw coming through, Martin Keimer, Graham McDowell, loads and loads of really big names. Uh, I think you'd actually struggle to beat the quality of this field apart from in the majors or perhaps the WGCs which says a lot for the British Masters as an event and it's great for the European Tour. Apart from at the Open Championship, we don't really get an event of this calibre in Europe and certainly not in the British Isles, um, so it's great to see. And one player you notice I will have missed off that list just now is Sergio Garcia, who uh, actually lent his support to the event from a very early date so the guys could use uh, his image and his name as part of the promotion material. As some of you guys will know who have watched the Ryder Cup in the past and various other events, Westy is really good friends with Sergio, has been for an awfully long time. And it's clear to see that his friendship with Sergio played a big part in getting him here, as well as Lee's popularity amongst other players and the strength of the field really is perhaps down to Lee himself. What does it mean to you to get the strength of players you've got? Yeah. It means a lot, yeah. I think, uh, I don't know whether it's me, that the reason why the players have turned out, but you know, if, if it is, then that's fantastic. It's very nice for me. And um, you know, the likes of Sergio doesn't play in Britain very often, committing so far in advance, so we could use him in the, in the promotion of the event. And uh, you know, all, all the people that turned out, you know, the, the great players of now and you know the likes of Jose Maria Lathabal and Miguel Angel Jimenez and you know, obviously the, the good players currently like Rory and uh, Martin Keimer and people like Graham McDowell and Polter playing like playing is, is obviously great for the tournament and should create you know, a great atmosphere. So I said big thanks to Lee for the strength of the field this week at the British Masters but we've also got to give a little shout out to Sergio who also played a little part in getting Rory down here for the event too. I asked uh, Rory at Sergio's wedding when we added a couple of glasses of wine <laughs> and he said if he, he didn't get to the Tour Championship because obviously he was playing a lot in the lead up to this and, and he was playing the Dunhill as well and I think he was talking about playing Italy uh, he thinks seriously about playing here and obviously didn't get to the Tour Championship and he, he committed pretty much straight away. So with such a high quality field here at Close House, I guess picking a winner might not be so easy. There's so many good players. Um, I'm gonna go with my partner. Did you say, did you say seven? Who I played with here uh, against Mark. I'm gonna go with Lee. He's got the home field advantage. He's played this course countless times. Although he did allude to yesterday in his press conference that he might be approaching the course slightly differently than he does on a Saturday morning with his mates. So guys, can you post comments down below on who you think will win the British Masters this week? Love to hear from you on your thoughts about the tournament. As I said, I'm going for Westy. Now it isn't just watching the world's best players this week uh, which is going to make this event so cool for us as a company. We're also heavily involved as sponsors as you can see behind me. Uh, we're situated beside the 18th D and we've also got some amazing prizes to be giving away. We're giving away
away a golf holiday every single day from today onwards and I'm going to run through where exactly you could win a holiday if you come and visit us this week at the British Masters. So today's prize and we'll be announcing the winner later on uh, is a trip to this very venue close house uh, and as you can see behind me we've also got trips on offer to Quinta de Lago in Portugal, La Manga, uh, Jamira in Dubai and La Quinta in California. Uh, so each day we'll be giving away a different prize so make sure if you're at the British Masters week definitely come by to the Your Golf Travel stand as you can also see behind me we've got a really cool bar so come and have a drink make sure you enter the competition and win yourself a golf holiday and I'm Ellen from Your Golf Travel and that's not all you can win here at Close House either and this may sound a little bit odd but if you do spot me at the uh, at the venue this week come and say hi uh, get a picture Maybe get a picture of me from afar if you don't want to say hello, that would be understandable. Um, and tweet it at yourgolftravel with the hashtag Where's Rory? And we will send you a £50 voucher once we've DM'd you after the event. Another bonus of being here this week is I'm about to be reunited with my long lost bearded brother from another mother, Steve Buzzer. In the background now, about to tee off. Look who I found. Hello. This epic man right here. <laughs> Simply planned it. I know, we haven't seen each other for a long time, We Steve. haven't. We were saying Ireland. Ireland. And what a time that was. K Club, Druids Glen. What's it like in comparison with Close House? How are you finding the course? I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. The greens are tough. Yeah. You know, real the slopes. It'll be interesting what like what wins this week. Uh -huh. Sergio was saying that the greens were uh, quite slopey but not that quick, and he doesn't think they could get them that quick because of the slopes. No, you, it, it's just the type the type of green it is. You need to get it in the right areas. Uh -huh. So if it's a bit windy, like shot shaping and stuff. Cool. It's kind of above our station, Maureen. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> above my station. I already found that out when I played it with Lee. Did you say? Did you say seven? <laughs> um, so, how many holes you got left? Uh, we started on ten, so I've got no more holes. Oh, sweet. Well, yeah. I'm going to leave you alone now. Aye. But hopefully, I'll see you later. We we could have a, a water or a another with some beverage. Barley and hops in it. <laughs> Good man. See you later, buzzer. Okay, you later. Game. Great to see you, man. You too. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Right, I've also caught up with another one of my friends. Tour friend! Um, my, another one of my playing partners actually, you know. Yep. We, won't, we won't discuss the result of last week's video because um, we, need, we, we need to keep the audience in suspense because those videos aren't out yet, but make sure you check out Mark's channel for those that will be coming out soon. Uh, but we were talking last week about the fact that we were going to meet here today, so what are your thoughts on the course here at Close House so far? I think it's uh, different than what we play week in, week out. Uh -huh. It's uh, very hilly. Yep. Uh, it's in very good conditions and uh, there's quite big crowds already out for the program so I'm sure uh, the next few days will be very busy. Excellent, and uh, how are you playing more importantly? I'm, I'm playing okay, Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm hitting it quite good off the tee finally, Cool. which is uh, an improvement for the, between the last few months. So uh, we're going to see you lifting uh, the trophy on Sunday then? Well I hope so. Yeah, me too. I hope so. <laughs> well, enjoy the rest of your round Eduardo Thank and you. I shall see you later. Thank you, Cheers, bye. Mate. Thanks for that. I also got the chance to pop into the tailor-made tour truck which is really cool. Uh, got in touch with my inner golf geek, saw all the kind of gizmos and contraptions they use to help these guys play their best golf during the week of the tournament. And I also got to see them build one of Rory McIlroy's exact spec drivers. The link to that for videos in the description of this one, so definitely click on that if you want to see the ins and outs of life on a tour truck and what it's like getting the world's best players match fit and ready to go in the tournament. All right, all done for the day at the British Masters. I'm off back into town where YGT have got a staff house. Uh, gonna edit this video. Uh, really looking forward to the tournament kicking off tomorrow. Make sure you post comments down below like I asked earlier. Have your picks for the winner this week. I've gone for Westwood. Uh, and as always, subscribe to the Your Golf Travel channel and I will see you guys soon.